Hey guys, it's me, Darton Man here, and I am here showing you a tutorial on my plugin, my premium spigot plugin called Evil Admin. Uh, it is kind of neat. I actually think this version is so far the best, of course, obviously. Um, every version will hopefully be better than the one before it. That is the goal. So, without further ado, let's just uh, start uh, doing that. I have here um, an alt. Uh, good, it's in survival mode right now. Um, yeah, so we're going to jump. Yep, all right. Um, yeah, so let's just... Uh, uh, let me move the window so I can see my microphone volume. All right, and uh, let's just get started. <laughs> um, so first off... Uh, we know that the first thing is slash evil admin. Um, if it doesn't know what you're trying to do, it'll just tell you to do help. And then it'll give us this uh, this list of things here. So first, uh, let's just take a look at evil admin version. This displays the version of evil admin that is currently installed. If we do slash evil admin update, we uh, see if this is the newest update. And it will tell you, see, this version of evil admin is the newest one, which is version 3.3.2. If let's say I upload 3.3.3 to Spigot and then I still use 3.3.2 on my server and I do that, it'll actually tell me that this is not the newest one and I can download it on Spigot. So that is neat. Uh, next, we have Evil Admin Troll and it'll be like, hey, you need to do such Evil Admin Troll player. So that's neat. Um, so we'll start off with just yeah, him. So we're going to make him unable to mine blocks. So we've done that, and now we're going to show you. We're just going to... Uh, all right, so now you can see his blocks, and we're going to sh show you him trying to mine a block here. So there we go. He, I'm holding it down. It's just not going at all. We're going to try giving him a diamond pickaxe. Not a diamond pickaxe, my bad, my bad. Diamond shovel. And give him that. And we'll mine again. And okay, as you can see, there is actually a particle there, I think. Yeah. And then that's it. It just, he can't get the block. So, yeah. If I stop mining, yeah, it obviously disappears, but keep mining, it comes back. It just, it does not go. Um, so that's, that's anti-mine. I'm going to be going through every troll, by the way. Uh, to toggle it off, just do the same thing again, and then he'll be good to mine again. So, that's, that is how that works. Good stuff. Um, yeah. Next up, we have Arrow. It just starts spawning arrows above his head constantly it's kind of fun uh he's probably gonna die i'm gonna stop it again just click it again to stop it and i'm gonna actually heal him i've got essentials installed right now so that's that <laughs> i'll look at it all right um yep uh so on the next one blindness you can't really see but he is blind because yeah, it's just the blindness potion effect. It lasts forever until I undo it, or if he dies, I think it gets rid of it as well. We can set him to start burning. This will last either until he dies or I turn it off myself, which I'm going to turn it off. Um, cage, uh, cage doesn't always work quite right. Uh, we can put him in the cage. Uh, so now he's stuck in the cage. And we can, I believe, take him out. However, I'm pretty sure I have a bug. If we try to do it again, it doesn't work, as you see. Um, that will also stop, unfortunately, the drown from working right. That doesn't work either. Turn it off just in case mess with the back. So just, I need to work on that. Just the cage and the drowning, though. Everything else should be working fine. Clear armor. Here, let me just give a second. We're going to... Have him put armor on. Okay. And, uh, we can actually clear his armor, just clear armor, and he has no more armor. But he does still have his items in his hands, which, as you can imagine, uh, clear inventory.
Bayer's Inventory. He does not have those. Confuse. Confuse the target's chat. So I can say hello just like that. But if he says hello, as you can see, it removes the vowels. So that is what confusing the chat does. It oops, removes the vowels from their chat. Um, they can't use them. But now I've toggled back off. Hello. He's working fine now. He can chat. Uh, next up, we've got crash. It pretends to crash. It just kicks them with a Java error. It's nothing fancy. It's literally just kicking them from the server. It's not actually really doing a whole lot. Um, but, it, you know, it's fun. It's just, you know, you can catch hackers and then mess with them like that or, you know, whatever you want. We can deafen them. Uh, I can chat and he actually won't see that. Um, yeah, saying all these, it's not showing up in... Uh, in uh, Insane's chat. Uh, let's get back. All right. So undeafen so that he can see chat again. Great. Yep. I know you guys can't tell. You're just going to trust me. Delayed death. This one takes a whole minute, so I'm not actually going to show it to you guys right now. Uh, but it did kill someone. And then after I click it, he'll die unless he's in creative mode. Uh, double health. Doubles his health. Again, you can't see it. Uh, that one is a bit broken because Cage breaks it and it breaks Cage and they break each other. It's horrible. Um, this will probably kill him, but and it does do block damage, so just be, be wary when you're doing that. Yeah, just, just, if you're going to do that, just make sure you're careful. Make sure that you're not trolling them in like an area that you're... You, you, don't want to explode because the TNT does do block damage. Uh, extreme speed gives them a extreme speed, it just makes them really fast. Fake ban kicks them with a ban message. Fake join, we can do that. It says their name and that they joined. Uh, we can join them from joining and then they can join them with fake names. So I'm joining them and I'm leaving the game. Uh, fake or it allows the target to mine. But he will not get any drops. All right. So, oh, see, he mines the. Ooh, that is not working. Uh. Okay. Um. I'll work on that. Uh. I'll make sure that that works uh, later. Um. Whoops. Free fall. Pretty obvious what that one does. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That happens. So let's bring him back here. Um. Yep. So next up, we've got freeze. Oh, I didn't update the the uh, description. This actually completely freezes him. Uh, he, I'm trying to move right now. He can turn, but he can't actually move. See, he's sprinting. You can see the particles. He just doesn't move. I actually think yeah, sprint jumping is gonna barely move him. So, but yeah, he's sprint jumping right now. So, this one doesn't work perfectly. In the next update, I'll be sure to just... Well, I don't know. I don't really want to cancel the player move event because that can cause a lot of lag. But I guess I could teleport him back to his location uh, every time. I can do that. I can do that. I might do that. Um, we'll see. I might do that in the next update. Maybe not. Uh, we'll unfreeze him. Just, you know, do it again. See, he can move now freely. Awesome. Um... Let's try them again. Half heart just gets rid of most of his health. Um, this one is slightly broken. He does need to be wearing a helmet in order for it to work, which is unfortunate. It doesn't have to be diamond helmet. Any helmet works. Um, but yes, so now if we do that, uh, yep, I get his helmet just in case so that if I want to give it back to him. But now he's wearing Hero Brian's head. So it's like, ah, Hero Brian! Okay. Um, everybody run! <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's, that's how that works. Um, yeah. Oop. All right. Um, uh, jump. Forces him to jump. I'm not doing this. See, I'm moving around on this one still, and he is jumping. This is pretty fun because he's he he'll actually stop sprinting to jump instead of sprint jumping. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, I 
not in front of you anymore. Do do in front of the camera. So if you time it right, you can actually end up jumping like two blocks with this. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's just a really fun thing to do. Uh, they start jumping all over the place. Every time they, they well, I mean, even if they're not moving, they just jump and jump and jump and jump, but they have no choice but to jump. Um, it's really fun to do to like hackers. They think like, oh no, something's wrong with my client. I can't stop jumping. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, lava floor, pretty obvious does that I'm gonna keep healing him so that yeah normally it's enough to kill him but I kept healing him so that he didn't die uh, another one really fun one lava mine every time he mines a block it turns into lava yes isn't that fun that is fun okay let's turn that off because I don't want to like oh no I don't want to like um <laughs> yeah so that that's that's a fun one um we did turn it off right Yes, okay, good. Okay. Ugh, that is that. A uh, lightning strikes and lightning. Fun. Lightning. Pretty basic. Um, let's see here. Oh, I missed one. Free fall. Infinity fall. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, you probably can't see this. Um, let's go up there. Yeah, there he is. You can see him way up there. Infinity Fall. He just gets stuck in a loop of falling. It is awesome. He's way up here. He can't stop. Oh, yeah. So that is that is a very good troll. That one is fun. Um, especially if uh, somebody's fly hacking. I absolutely love this one because they think something is totally wrong with their flight and they're like, they're freaking out. They're like, oh no, I'm going to get banned. All they, they didn't know is that they were already caught. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm actually going to use God mode so he doesn't die when he comes back and goes down. Um, so yeah, we're going to turn that off and he's going to come crashing down, but he's in God mode. Turn that off. And, yep. Oh, oh, that's right. I don't need to put him in god mode. Oh, that's right. All right, so we're just going to do this really quick here. Um, one second to load up. All right, there we go. And we're going to turn it off. And he's going to come crashing down. But this actually, in this one, we've prevented them from dying. Because he actually, as you just saw the particles there, he has resistance for about 10 seconds after I turn it off. Just to make sure he lands safely without dying. Um... Yep, that is how that works. Uh, nauseate gives him the nausea, nause, nausea effect. I can't say that. Uh, which is the one that like your screen goes crazy. It's like the same effect as when you're going through the Nether portal. You know when it like starts wobbling and stuff. It's that effect. Uh, poison food. Uh, every time he eats anything, uh, he will actually be poisoned. So it doesn't matter what it is. That didn't drop. So he's gonna eat this. He's not hungry yet. All right, let's sprint around. Okay, there we go. He's gonna eat this, and he will actually get poisoned because he ate food. Um, so yeah, um, we're gonna heal him again. There, it only lasts a few seconds, but uh, it it's poison. Um, <laughs> popular. Everybody teleports to them. That's just one that I found on the internet, and somebody was like, you like. You should do this. So I did it. Uh, potato completely fills their inventory with potatoes. Uh, you can't really see this, but he, he's actually wearing a potato in all of his armor slots uh, as well. Um, so that that is that is fun. Uh, um, Pumpkinhead again. He does have to be wearing a helmet. Uh, any helmet. Works. Sorry, the ones that, oh, was my mic not working there? All right, well, hopefully you're following along anyway. Um, yep, again, requires a helmet. Uh, he does get a helmet, I mean a pumpkin, instead of his helmet, which is a very fun thing because the helmets have the, uh, the ability to make you um, pumpkin stuff. Uh, that uh, particle effect where you are looking through a helmet. Um, 
yeah scare oh uh, that was weird uh only works in 1.9 i believe so that is unfortunate uh, but that gives you the guardian and the guardian thing and a spooky sound so that's that's fun uh spam fills it with chat you can't see that so never mind yeah this chat is being spammed right now um yeah stampede lots of cows stampede oh i'm fast um bloop. yeah so yeah he gets stampeded with cows it's just something fun to do you know they're in their in their house and you just mess with them by spawning a bunch of cows uh so that 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 is a fun one to do you can starve them that just sets their health to zero thanksgiving same as potato but with pumpkin pies troll kick troll kick oops well that's not what that should be yeah, that just kicks in with a message. That's the wrong description. I'll have to fix that. Um, whoops. Um, so yeah, that that yeah that that is the description for turnaround, which is also there. So take a, take a close look. See, so, yeah, actually, we're gonna try to get him in the corner here. Um, we're gonna do a turnaround. He turns around. He turns him around. That is so fun. All right. Uh, void teleport. Teleports him in the void. Kind of boring. Weaken, he can't do any damage. All right, watch, watch this. Swinging at the, at the cows, and it's just not working. It's just not working. He can't do anything about this cow. So, yep, he can't do it, he can't do damage, he can take damage. He cannot do damage, which, again, great thing to do to hackers. Um, who am I? As you can see, his name has become We can toggle it off, and his name comes back. His name, his gamer tag right there doesn't change, but it, it it's it's fun. But again, new name. It's completely randomly generated. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's always ten letters long, but each letter is one random letter chosen randomly out of the alphabet. Theoretically, it could randomly generate a word, but it's not super likely. Lastly, Zombie Horde. Swarms them with zombies. Uh, so that, that, that is the last uh, troll. That is the evil admin. Hope you enjoyed. If you are an evil admin and you love to troll your players or hackers, I highly recommend you get this plugin. It's not super expensive. I think I only have it set at $3. Yeah, $3. It's just $3 on Spig and MC. It is a super awesome plugin. Sometimes I have sales, so you can get it even cheaper. But seriously, $3 is not that much money. I highly recommend you get it. I think you'll love it if you own a server. It would be phenomenal. It works from 1.8 all the way to 1.13 with just one or two of the trolls not working in all the versions. It's a phenomenal plugin. I absolutely love it. I use it on my server that I haven't actually released yet because I'm not finished building it yet, but I'm going to be using it. I know a few other people that are using it. It's just amazing. And you know what? If you actually watched this video all the way until the end right now, you are so loyal. I will actually let you have it for $2. Just send me a private message on Spigot. This is so exciting. I'm so glad you guys watched this. I love this plugin. I hope you download it. Um, you know, so uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, sorry if it's a little awkward because I haven't been uploading in a while and I'm not exactly the world's greatest content creator. But you know, I do work hard. I work, I love, I love this. I love programming, I love YouTube, and I love all your guys' likes and support. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.